Welcome down to part two of Battle Golf at Wimslow Golf Club with myself Rick Shields, Matt Fryer and Andy Carter. And we are currently, me and uh, Carter, are just going to make some decisions about Matt's bag because uh, on the last hole, if you've seen part one, you've just seen that he just lost the last hole. If you've not seen part one, you know, no longer need to see it. <laughs> we just saw the results. <laughs> so we've got a par five next, which is something 500 or 400 odd yards. Uh, he's got, he's got... It's a lot yet. It's, hey. not, it's a long one, this, isn't it? Leave George alone. Take me! <laughs> what did he ever do to you? Take me, guys! See right, I'm going to take George. You're taking the driver. So that's the driver in my bag. You can use it if you want to. I can't yeah. take putters. Yeah. Can you? you can't no, take you putters. Can't take putters. Okay. See, the next hole's a par three. <laughs> You're like, you sure? He's going to use <laughs> nine. It. Yeah, we'll just go long, won't we? Yeah, two right. <laughs> go long or go home. So his longest at club now in his bag is his three iron. His longest club in his bag is now his three iron to play a par five. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my driver. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use driver. <laughs> driver, driver, driver. I'll give uh, I'll give fry the camera. Sorry, I ain't. Is there anything you've just gained from that? <laughs> yeah. To hold the camera. <laughs> Yay. How far is it, Matt? Five oh three. A little bit of a dog leg. It's you can't. Reachable than two, isn't it, Rick? Yeah. No. Nope. What do you reckon? No. You got to go over a little bit of water here, guys. Let me just zoom you in. Then. You have to highlight the water. <laughs> yeah. Well, you never know. We've not left you that short of yeah. club, have we? And then it goes a little bit down to the left-hand side after there. It's a big booming drive down the right side. Okay, so just put him in there. You go big. Go big or go home. Just don't go left. Wow. Ooh. Oh, wow. Tactics. Gamesmanship. Wow. Tactics. <laughs> Me, yeah. I snap that three with you just steady us. <laughs> Yeah. Got in his head there, he's gone right. Safe as houses. If I win this hole, <laughs> can I take my clubs back? Yeah. Alright, oh, sound. You've lost. You can take the ones you've lost back or take ours. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go save mine. I'd say five yards left of mine. Perfect. Oof, a bit more. Really? Yeah. It's dead. 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 <laughs> Just up the right there. That is good, is it? Yeah, that's good. That's about 10 yards left of my hand. Perfect. Beautiful. That was good. Beautiful. That must have been. Nice my shot. slice swing. <laughs> <laughs> 12 yard draw. Oh, right. <laughs> Three iron, Matt Fryer. Are you gonna Are you going to just hit it conventionally or are you going to no, no, no. modify it? Are oh, you not bending it? You can't gonna, bend it. I'm going to start back here. <laughs> <laughs> so three out for safety. <laughs> Protecting his handicap. Oh, it's that one wedge shot. That's what's ruining it. Anyway. I deserve it after missing the green with a wedge. That's true. Shot. <laughs> we didn't expect anything less. That's been alright. How far, how far do you know me at three? About 2.30. Okay. So I'll get on from there. Yeah. Shut you get as well. <laughs> so fry a great, uh, great drive. Great three iron. Lovely iron shot. Yeah, smack bang in the fairway. Crisp and smooth. <laughs> Just to give you some perspective, and this, um, this might backfire later on in the hole. My tee shot's there. So I'm just short of the just short of the bunkers. What are you hitting, Matt? Three iron. Three iron, okay, good choice. I like That's it. What I've got. It's two, like tink up this. Uh, 287. No. So 287 yards. That's a nice three shot though. That's how we should be playing. Never say never. <laughs> Slinging it or normal? Uh gonna try and draw, even though I don't really hit many draws, but <laughs> So I've not really shown the, the pin really. It's kind of sl still sl very subtle dog leg from here. <laughs> and where that um, the tree is, sorry, it's a bit shaky there. Where that tr oops, watch your head, Matt, just to the left a bit. Where that tree is, you can see the flag just behind the tree. It's only a very small tree. Might be in my way, but Oh, it's a heavy one towards that tree. Oh, tactical fat. 
a tactical fat. Wow. Is it down in the fairway? Is that alright? So, yeah. Tactical fat. Right, found Carter. Nice drive just down in the rough a little bit. How far have we got? I've got 198 to the flag, but it's about 175 or so to the front edge of the green. See the flag up so, here, guys. I'm going to try and chase the six iron up the green. There we go. Bit of a jumpy lie as well, it might fly a touch, so. I really hope you don't. Alright. Straight at the flag, little draw, hit the middle of the green. Yeah, I do anyway. Oh, he's gone left here. Bit of a flyer, left edge. Bit long and left that one. Sorry about the zoom there, guys, wasn't my best. Absolutely nailed it and it flew. Oh dear. That's what I was worried about the flyer. Go and find Rick that over here. <laughs> so, Rick's found a fairway. Two in a row. Two in a row. That was a nice t-shirt that. <laughs> if you don't say so yourself. <laughs> Talk about blowing um, your own one trumpet. Eight, one eight two left in. Seven. Seven. Like a real there we go guys. Actually there's a bit of a is a Mackenzie in this green here. Yeah, how'd you get on that? That back tail looks difficult to get on. I think it's about four That's yards exactly wide. Chase it. No. I got short and long. What are you going with? Oh, this is all over it. Great shot. Quality. Yeah. Just on the bottom tier, but perfect. <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah. Great shot. I did I my duty, a, sir. I needed a 33 degree, not 34. <laughs> <laughs> so, we found Matt, how far are you, Matt? 87 yards. So he's got his 56. He's got having a little zoom on mine. <laughs> Look at that. So, golf show. yeah. Today we'll be looking back through my best golf shots. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it'll just be this Here's vlog. One. <laughs> it'll just be a 10 second yeah. clip. And we're done. It's my best shot. Uh, right, eight, seven yards in the second cut of rough. That's, then there's the third. The... And then there's the fourth. <laughs> you don't want to be in that stuff. Carter looks like he's uh, just on that back edge. Look out, look out. Looks like he's modelling. <laughs> look at him. Here wearing the new 2015 summer range. Like doing moody looking to the distance. It was blue steel. <laughs> blue steel, yeah. <laughs> so 87 yards, he's got the hill to navigate. That's a much better wedge shot. Right. Oh. I think it literally kissed the flag on the way in. What's Carter what's, what's, what's doing then? It's gone over the back. Putting his hands up in his hair like he just don't care. Okay, Carter just run through the back. It came out like a rocket, that oh, iron shot. It absolutely flew. It kind of pitched on the top of the bank there as well. Yeah. So he's got... He's kind of back and level with the pin so if you remember where that that slope is there it slopes that way to the right what's your what's your plan here mate straight at it slightly left kind of yeah kind of damage limitation flag, I don't want to go right no right at the flag's dead if you get the right distance i'll be flying but i'm gonna have to get a little bit of height on it so it's gonna be quite a cute one a couple of a couple of yards onto the green bit, a tiny bit of height And a little bit right, but it's not hard enough to damage the hill. Oh. That's a really nice shot. As long as it stops. Yeah, good. Very good one, well done, mate. I'll take that. Nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely meant to go right, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, welcome to the green. We've got Rick's and Met's superb second shot there. So we'll have that for oh, we'll have that for his eagle. And that's my third shot, that was my chip I'm shot from the rough. Luke. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that for the eagle. He's got that for the eagle. He's got that for the eagle. <laughs> Fryer has this, this is his fourth shot, 
really unlucky actually. I was level with the flag and it literally pitched an inch. Yeah, it was an inch to the right of the hole, so. But, you know what? Hit it too hard. <laughs> that was a good shot. Right, come up. So this is your fourth. Up and down. <laughs> Alright, that, that was shout at it. <laughs> sit, sit! You will sit! Right, Mr. Shields. He's three foot. You're <laughs> <laughs> an eagle. He's three foot. I need my club. The, a lot could happen from here. What, you going on this? <laughs> no, between all the balls. Oh, between all of us. Yeah. There could be it's like three, selfish. there could be three shots in it. <laughs> I kind of wanted to make it because it would be nice to see an eagle. Yeah, it would be. Really nice. Really nice. Doesn't matter. Really nice. You'd like it if you see this going. Yeah, that's it. That wasn't fantastic, was it? They are slow though, aren't they? I know, but I shouldn't have left that shot. <laughs> you shouldn't have left it. I'm just trying to make you feel better. Fryer for his pa. Say it like that. I was going to say birdie, sorry. <laughs> Gutted about it. All I could think of, don't leave an eagle put short, don't leave an eagle put short. And I left it short. Sure said to stop it one. Yeah. So, I didn't see that going that one. Give it for six. You, I gave you that pick. <laughs> Matt. Doesn't matter when you're there for four, does it? <laughs> well, I've lost clubs. <laughs> <laughs> right, I could aim to make this. Oh, yeah. Where the cart holds this. Do you take clubs off me as well if I miss? Yeah. So, oh. just take, so, just take what, it so then it'd be one each? Take one off him and two off you. That. So either way, I've lost two clubs. Is that clubs. Still losing, huh? No. So he's making these rules up as he goes along? <laughs> of course. Oh, yeah. Unless I missed it. As soon as he loses hole, it'll be a bonus hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that one didn't matter. Uh, no, that's what I said. Point. All right, got this. Got this. Chance of me making a putt today? Turn too much. Ah. Yeah, someone say, give me. Oh. <laughs> take it away. Take it away. Don't take it away. You might as well, you've won it already. Don't take it away. Matt says yes. For the win. I really moved a lot last time, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> they don't leave it short again. Yeah. <laughs> We've got it. <laughs> Yours, it, it did. <laughs> did I slice it though? I will leave it short. Well done, well good done. birdie. Great so, shot. In well that. done. To get a club off me. Club off you and two off Matt. And two off Matt. Well done, pal. It's a par three next. I'll, de I'll decide what yardage it is first. <laughs> oh no, you got to decide here. Oh, no, you, you. No, no, you got to no, decide here. No. Oh, wrong, oh wrong, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> You can't decide on the two, we didn't do that in the last hole. We'll pass it. I'll, I'll offer you a lob wedge and a gap wedge. Um, Unbelievable. You can have my left handed driver. Let me have a look at the scorecard then. How's that any better than looking when you're on the tee? I'll look on the tee.
Hello, so as you can see we've had a little bit of a technical issue. In the next couple of clips, for whatever reason, the sound has just completely vanished. So I'm going to do a little commentary while, it, while it's going on. Um, so far then, I won that hole with a birdie. Uh, Carter parred it and Fryer bogeyed it. So I'm taking two off Matt Fryer, one off Carter. Now I'll take, I, I think, I kind of misjudged it a little bit, but I'll take six and seven from him. Uh, or seven and eight, six and seven, seven or eight, one of those two. Um, I can't remember because even the I can't believe the audio has gone. I really can't. So next couple of holes, there's going to be little clips. I'm going to come in and choose bits if it's no audio. You'll still see the footage. I'm going to fast forward here. Uh, this is a 180 yard hole. Um, so I might as well just commentate on it, on it, should I? Yeah, why not? 180 yard hole, par three. It goes kind of down the hill, back up the hill, pin his back right corner. Uh, I was thinking I was being clever with um, trying to say, I'm going to take six and seven, but I think it was a five iron anyway. I was really stubborn. I carried on hitting seven irons. This is me hitting seven on this hole. We'll play, we'll uh, say this. So the lads, as always, give me a little bit of banter. So far, so good, playing well. I'm up on clubs, which is a bonus. So I tried to cut it into that back flag, not my favorite shot, stuck it in the bunker that's just on the right side coming down now. So it's stuck in the bunker that you can actually see on screen there. Um, Carter's up next. So because I took I took his seven iron out of his set, which was the wrong choice really, because he's hitting six iron here. Um, it's quite good seeing it after uh, commentating on it after I know what's happened. So he's hitting six iron, 180 yards. Even though it looks uphill, it's pretty much level to the to the green. I can't believe the audio went. I really can't. Anyway, hopefully this is uh, so doing the, doing the work, doing the. I'm watching it as you are. So he hit like a big slinging back of the stand six iron, and it landed back left corner. You can just see it there, just left of the pin. Really good hit. It started so far right though and turned back in. So now car. Uh, Fryer, I took six and seven off him. So this is his five iron that he's hitting. 180 yards. So he needs to shave a little bit of it off, really. So this is five iron. Matt not having the best day on the link so far, but all things can change. Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, so right, Matt is going to try and play a cut here with effectively too much club five iron. If you're up. So he overcut this shot. It's turning too far to the right. Hopefully I'll zoom in on it. Yeah, it's, it's gone further right than the bunker that I hit it in. Almost near that tree and that kind of pathway. So this next clip does have audio. Right, so we found Mr. Shields. I was, I was hitting seven just to be stubborn there. That was the stu <laughs> stupid idea ever. Go hard, ball! Uh, just so found the trap here. Little tricky. Little Not tricky bad light, to be fair. Just got to carry it. There's a bit of a swale there. You can probably see that anyway, guys. But... Oh, he's just overbaked it there. Like I can't say well out. Yeah. <laughs> As, in like... As if you're off 42. <laughs> As in, it's like playing in a pro -am. Yeah. Well out. <laughs> Good effort, yep. <laughs> Up and down from there, two puts, safe. Well, well, well escaped. <laughs> All the cliches, come on. <laughs> I was like, that was a horrendous shot. Well out. Thanks, Rod. Like, I like your appreciation. I you were like, quite close to the lip. That was the heck. Really Easiest bunk shot I could have played. Oh, well done. <laughs> well out. <laughs> I love that. Good oh, what a, what a lovely guy. What a, He's just trying to make a nice statement and we rip into him. Right, Carter's... Uh, oh, you fat this. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's just found the path. Well, sorry, he's not on the path, but I'll let me get round this way. You need cuts out there. So his bubble cut. I think going this stuff anyway, which was good. He's got to play a bit of a flopper. Yeah, watch the instructional video how to play this shot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> that is a beauty. Can I say a good shot on that? Yeah. Good shot, Matthew. Well out. Well out. That shot. That shot. Right, so we've got Rick for his par up here. Yeah, you were well out there. Good bunker shot. Well and truly out, wasn't just, uh, it? just splash it out and give yourself a chance at the putt, Rick. <laughs> Should move a little left to right, if anything. Looking good. Looking good. Oh yes, what a three! <laughs> Just when I thought I was getting a uh, club back, you've gone and done that to me. <laughs> right, Carter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, right there, right there. Don't think about the three jiggle. Oh. Never up, never in, Cart. That was a, that was a good uh, half. Do I get like a club back for that mega flop shot? Nope. Ugh. Let's go anyway, next. move on to no the next. Clubs, no club deck shot. Hey, I'm back. What a putt. <laughs> good was that putt. <laughs> so I don't know why the audio again has gone on this clip and it, it has for the rest of this hole really. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to introduce you to this, this shot, um, this little bit of it's par four. Uh, I didn't actually see how far it was then. Um, 400 yards. Quite a hard hole, slight dog leg to the right. Uh, no clubs were taken that time because we all parred the hole. So Matt is four clubs down, uh, Carter is one club down, I am effectively three clubs up. So I tee up right on the left hand side here because I'm trying to play a big cut round the corner. Not my favourite shot in the world. And I actually overdo it, I overcut it. So I've put it towards the right. The, the trees that are just on the right there, I've cut it around those trees. So too much cut, I'm saying there. The lads were winding me up because they were saying that I can't cut the ball. I can, I can, just not very well. <laughs> so Carter's up next. Um, he can cut the golf ball, a fine cutter of the golf ball, but he chooses to, oh, well, I'll show you, show you what he does. So he's teed up on the left-hand side again to open up the hole. And he again does the same as me, you overcut it. <laughs> so he's, you can see with the disappointment on his face, he's shot it all the way over that corner. Uh, you'll see us down there. Not to spoil it, but we do find him. Um, so, what I'm going to do, like I say, once Matt hits this, he's hitting three iron because he's not getting any woods left. So, he's hitting three iron. Um, is I'll just show you the shot. I might do a little bit of talking over it as well. Uh, I'm going to do the next. It's probably going to be the next two holes. Really sorry, guys. Next two holes I'm going to do. And then part three will be the 17th and 18th hole. So stay tuned because they are very, very good holes. So once Matt hits this, I'm going to jump in and then uh, keep commentating as we're going along. So three iron, straight down the middle, as you would expect with a three iron. You'll see it land there. Perfect. Right, stay tuned. Okay, so here's Matt's second shot after finding the fairway. Uh, he's about 185 yards left in, so I think he hits a really soft five iron. Um, pin is, the bunker's just in front, the pin's just to the right of that white flag. You might just be able to see it on the screen. Um, doesn't hit the greatest shot here, it just, just blocks it out right a little bit. You can see the, the hand coming off the club and the club twirl and lose it to the right hand side of the green. This is my, we found my second, so I had to punch it back out. This is a really funny shot actually. I punched out with the five iron. It hit like a pine, um, a pine, and the bunker, it went towards the bunker because after hitting that pine, then bounced over the bunker and found the fairway. I'd have been fuming if it had gone in the bunker, but it was safe. Carter a little bit further up in the deeper stuff, um, tries to hack it out, but doesn't get as far onto the fairway. So he's uh, leaves himself a full, well, both me and Carter both leave ourselves full shots in. This is Matt filming from the green. So Carter's probably about 120 yards left in here. These are both, this is Andy's third shot. Let's see it fly. Matt's trying to follow it. Not bad, good camera work. So he's given himself a chance for par, which is not bad. 
not bad at all. I was uh, I was 95 yards out from here, and I'm going to plug back to one of the, the recent videos I've done about distance control. I used my chart to measure exactly how far it hits. This was a 10 to 254 degree club. I know that hits 95, and the result was pretty good. So I landed it bang on 95, it stopped pretty quick. Again, gave me a chance to make par. If you've not seen that video, distance control, do check it out because it is pretty good. It's really revolutionized my pitching. So this is Matt's third shot. I think you'll like this. He only goes and holds it. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> so Matt hold that for three. And me and Carter have both had three. We're putting for pars. So this is Carter's attempt for par just to lose one club. He missed. So he he loses two clubs to Carter. And this is my attempt. I was using a new Cleveland putter uh, this round and putted pretty well. And this was my attempt just to lose one. Just skirted the edge. So I we both lose two. So we so Matt actually took my Let's see what he takes. I think he took my two long clubs. So this would have been part three, the intro to part three. This is a par four, shortish one, about 350 yards, this one. Um, Matt's contemplating what to take from us. And I think he chooses the wrong, well, he does choose the wrong clubs. So he takes off me, my, I won't ruin it. Oh, he takes off Carter's, what's that from Carter? Driver. Is that driver? No, three wood. Takes Carter three wood, and he took his driver. Three wood and driver. He takes. Oh no, it might have been Matt's three wood back, and then Carter's driver. That was it. Matt's three wood back. Uh, yeah, and they took my three wood and my driver. Great. But what he didn't realise, this holds a short par four, which is only requires an iron. Then it's a par three. Then it's a par five. So I don't think he took the right clubs there. It forced us to hit the club that we were going to hit anyway. You'll see the sign here. So is this the sixteenth hole? Lovely hole, little dog leg to the right. Like I say, it's only about 350 if that. Matt's, Matt's hitting his uh, three iron. So he had his three iron still in his bag. He, he, once he did it, he really knew he'd made the wrong mistake of what club to take. Look, he's there going, damn. He might have even sworn. He was like, damn. <laughs> I can't believe I've taken the wrong clubs. So left, that, left himself an opportunity, left himself a window after a great chipping for birdie. After getting back in the game. I say, Douglas, you need to probably hit this about 200 yards off the tee. Let's see what he does. So this is three iron for Matt. Anytime, anytime soon. Good. Matt, Matt, when you're ready. Thanks, bud. Appreciate that. So he's uh, three iron off the tee. And I say, slight Douglas to the right. And just hits one that's probably too long, really. You'll see when we get down there. But he just overturned it, overdrawn it, and probably overhit it. Didn't need that much club. And he had a four iron in his bag. Uh, Carter decided to go with for even longer club. He went for a one iron. Never needed a one iron in a million years on this hole. Like I said, unless you, unless you go over that bunker on that line, that really tight line, it's only 200 yards. You need to hit it. And Carter, you know, you can get a one iron to 230, 240 yards. You've got to be going for the green almost for that. In fact, it's probably only about 320 yard hole. He overturns it as well. Both these two calling me, saying that I can't. I, I'm one dimensional. So, <laughs> so I hit four iron. I was going to hit hybrid until I saw those shots. I hit four iron. No T kind of needed, I don't like to use a T too much on, on when hitting irons, but that doesn't mean that you ha you don't have to, it's just something that I've always done. And I knew I just needed to be just left hand side of the fairway. It's cool this watching it back, it's quite interesting. I know obviously normally watch it back when I edit, but I don't normally kind of comment and think about my game. <laughs> After I, I should do probably, shouldn't I? So four iron, just down the left hand side of the fairway. And so without saying too much, it was almost perfect. So there's no audio till the green. When we get on the green, there's more audio again. That'll be in the part two, and then we'll get on to part three as a separate part. So this was Carter's uh, second shot. He had to go over a tree. He was only 100 yards away. Had to go over this big tree. Uh, Matt was winding up saying it's an easy shot. Carter was saying it wasn't. I wasn't really. I think I was sat in the buggy chilling out. 
This is why the audio went. It's because of these guys, not me. I don't know why it went. I really don't. Um, so over the over the tree, oh, can't finish. <laughs> I love the leg action. Uh, sticks it to the back of the green. Very firm greens. Couldn't really get it to land softer. Uh, couldn't get it to land quick enough. Uh, Fryer had to play a low shot this time under the tree. So he's hitting like a five iron under the tree this time. And with the pin being very tight to the front of the green, he had to play it really short. I think he only hit like a... We didn't have a six. I think he had to hit five iron, actually. You just see the pin there. You can see Carter, Carter back right. And Fryer just finishes there just on the left. My shot. Again, used the wedge chart, which was very helpful. I was 100 yards away. I needed, Well, I was about 110 from the flag, but I needed to land it 100. And I also ne needed to land it right of the pin because of the, the slope, kicking it to the left. And... Uh, You'll see here, almost executed it. Brilliant. I hit a pitching wedge, 11 to 1 swing, landed just short, and then just ran to 10 feet. Not bad. So, audio kicks back in again. Enjoy, and then we'll see you in part three. Thanks very much for being patient with this right. kind of commentary. So we've made it down to the green. Rick's got a great green, one in there. Give myself a chance. You're just off the edge. But I'm high. just off the edge, so and, uh, still got a chance there. Carl, you're all right back there. Yeah. I'll turn the bud. Found in 18, 89, Matt. Open the flag out. Oh, lovely shot, that. We want to thank the guys where we've got an opportunity as well from Wimsdorf. Yeah. Jed, the general manager. Very Matt, helpful. The head, head pro and also Rick, uh, our, our good friend from many, many moons ago. <laughs> Once upon a time. Well, he still is a good friend. Yeah. Not, not anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just don't like him. <laughs> Thanks for letting us come down and film as well, guys. It's been much appreciated. Zoom in here a bit on Carter. Track it back in. Wow. Ooh. I think I'm um, just line and pace kept that one out then. Do you want it in or out? <laughs> I'll have it out, please. Right, I'll grab the camera off you. Hmm. Was that, was that conventional grip or unconventional grip. Conventional? Conventional grip didn't work. You went back to normal? May have, may have the face open. Are you actually in the bunker there, Matt, reading this? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, where's the hole? There it is. 4-3, level with the pin. Very well judged the shot. Just very hard to uh, keep it on this slope, really, wasn't it? So back up the hill for three. Back-to-back -back birdies. Never be seen. Never... Never been seen before on my channel. <laughs> so no pressure. Pop right on you. Just straight right out. Uh, I'll let you make decisions. Wow, generous. Give you that. Generous. Never next time. Solid from there. Yeah, Fry, do you want to take over? I've got a ten oh, foot. I've got a ten foot for part to read. <laughs> so I Welcome to the Long Putt Club. <laughs> so, Rick for birdie. See much in it, Rick? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you got that, guys, that was this. I think you meant right to left. Just putting me off. Don't know what's going on here. Camilo Vajegas has joined the group. Come on, You can see he really wants this. He needs his driver back for the par three next. Looking good. Oh, that had to go right. Take it away. Just changed my mind last minute. So now we've got cart dog tidy up. Have you seen back-to-back -back bogeys on your channel? <laughs> many a time. Many a times. <laughs> many, many times. See much in this one? Oh, so we've, so we've had a waving of the hand and a blowing of some, like a horse noise for green reading skills. I think it's right edge. Informative <laughs> information as yeah. always. All we need is some uh, like sign gestures now. <laughs> I did a bit of that. Yeah, yeah, to be fair. 
the grip could do a little bit more for me today, Leanne. Yeah. Stick with the process. Right edge. Yeah. Oh. Good put, well done. Three good pars. Yeah. Pass. So, on to the 17th, Terrible. par three. No clubs lost there. I must be in good position because I've still got a few good irons on me. Yeah. As we see though, I'm just going to miss it miles right and flop it up to an inch. <laughs> <laughs>